Hey, what's up everybody? I just want to do, do a uh, quick video. Just did an upgrade on my road glide and realized I'd never really uh, talked about this bike before. And then I also wanted to cover some things that uh, are going on with my FXR. Uh, it's been a while since I posted. Um, so we'll start off with the road glide. It's a 2021 road glide limited. I uh, just bought it this summer. I uh, rode it out to Sturgis, my wife and I, this year. It's about a thousand mile trip each way. So uh, I've got 5,000 miles on the bike, so plenty of seat time uh, to be able to tell you what I like about it. And uh, the answer that I, to that is everything. Uh, it's great. Um, I, I mostly heavily mod motorcycles once I get them, and I didn't want to do that with this bike because I wanted to see, hey, there's got to be a reason they make them this way, right? So let's find out what that is. And uh, it's really nice. That's not to say the the bike is uh, untouched. I've done some things. I'll go over them. Uh, I've put on this uh, windshield. It's from Freedom Shields. Got rid of the old guy. Um, clear, tall windshield, uh, which, by the way, you know, worked fantastic. There was nothing wrong with it. Um, changed out the air cleaner. It was a 114 stock. I've got the old stock one. I just didn't like the way that big, bulky round one looked as much as this one so i just swapped to this one this is still a stock 114 air cleaner too so not really any change there uh pipes are stock uh they're very quiet and i like that about this bike um so you know i'm not really the young cool guy anymore but i still want to be <laughs> so i'm kind of at that age where i struggle with it um and because of still wanting all the cool guy stuff uh I made riding motorcycles a lot harder on myself than I needed to. So this was kind of the answer. I want, uh, you know, I'll still have my FXR, my fun, cool guy bike. But this is kind of the creature comfort one. Um, I love everything about it, really. Uh, stock seat still on it. It's really comfortable for me. Uh, stock bars. I just put this cup holder on it. I mean, that's the ultimate uh, transition to the old guy motorcycle life, right? Um, <laughs> But uh, I think it still has a really cool, sleek look to it. Um, when, I, when I put the lower profile seat on it and take the tour pack off, it's still a really, really cool looking bike. And, and it still looks good this way. But I kind of got rid of all the red, like the red reflectors. I put some smoked ones on there. And then the, the back, I did the same thing with the back lighting. Um, and I think it really cleaned up the uh, tail end of the bike quite a bit. Uh, but it's basically really a, a stock 21 Road Glide Limited. Like I said, 5,000 miles. I do have the quick disconnect um, hardware for the tour pack. I have another uh, lower profile seat. Got some highway pegs for it. Um, I really love the lowers. Uh, and that's a good thing that I love them because they can't come off because these are the ones that actually have you know the coolant in the right side lower and they have the radiators so but there's not anything to dislike about this bike for me it's my first milwaukee 8 uh it's my first road glide i have had a touring bike before i had a 2003 100th anniversary electroglide standard and it was a great motorcycle but um you know my wife and i wanted to enjoy these things together and it's easier for her to do if i got a more comfortable bike and um you know it, it was worth it uh i think this thing will be around for a long time and if not if i get something else it'll be for another road glide you know maybe a different paint scheme or whatever the case may be who knows but there's no reason to not keep this thing around for a long time um i did put those vent screens in um i like them so far but i really did that at the uh, end of the season in 2021. So I don't have a lot of miles on those, but they're pretty cool, I think. But other than that, bike's pretty much stock. Uh, now on over to the FXR. It's been a little while since I put out an update and it had a big fairing on it last time you guys saw it. And it does not now. Um, so that's good news. Um, the fairing is off being painted I'm really excited about that. It's, uh, I think it's gonna look fantastic. 
Um, then I'll reinstall the stereo and everything. And uh, yeah, uh, the bike will not be complete at that point because under this table, which is not a workbench, it's a table, but I use it as a workbench. Uh, I've got an upgrade that's going in. So that is an SNS V111 and it will be going in the FXR. And uh, I don't think I've been more excited uh, for a motorcycle related project in my life than I am to put to you know to have this motor I, a little story about why I have this so I, I got it from uh, dirtycustoms.com um, I want it for a hundred dollars and uh, I couldn't be happier uh, so once that thing goes in you know I would love to say that the bike's complete but they never are and we all know that but um, I can't really think of much that I'm going to do right away to it once the uh, fairing's back from paint and, uh, and the motor's installed. So just wanted to give you guys a quick update, let you know what's going on. Haven't posted in a while and uh, also wanted to, you know, introduce the Rogue Glide because it's, it's really fantastic. The FXR is still my favorite. It will always be my favorite. Uh, but, uh, man, that thing's not bad to have either. So, um... Hope you guys liked the video. I know I'm not uh, the best at editing these things and putting these things out, but I don't know. To me, it's about the bikes. It's not about a flashy video. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.